I do believe in being as self-sufficient as I can possibly be. I bought this a few weeks ago. It's an Ava Pro jump starter and power bank. I bought this uh, for the road. You know, it's a good idea to be prepped and be prepared. And uh, my car has been sitting here for a few weeks. It has a new battery in it, but it's been sitting for a few weeks. And on my dash up here, it has an idiot light <laughs> that uh, kind of drained the battery a little bit. So here are the specs. There you go. And uh, I'll show you the gizmo itself. throw the box in the car because it's a little bit breezy and here is the kit inside of the kit are the cables and um, instruction booklet a little free accessory thing so I'll have to sign up for that. That'll be cool. Although the last accessory thing I signed up for on Amazon, I did not get. And uh, C USB charger for the unit. And here is the unit itself. It's very padded in there, which is a good thing. I think <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Can't get it out. There we go. There we go. It's a little bit dark. I hope you can see everything okay. I had to wait till it was cool enough outside. Okay, let me pop the trunk and we'll get this thing set up. I mean the hood, not the trunk. <laughs> it's not a Volkswagen. The 2003 Crown Victoria Ford with over 380,000 miles on it. So I will be selling the car. I have never used one of these before. So for first step, press the power button on. Right here. Okay, I have 89% battery in it. First step was turn on the battery button, this unit button. It has 89% battery on it. Then plug the jumper cable into the battery pack outlet. Okay. That's kind of cool. Make sure the cables aren't touching each other. Third step, connect, the second step, connect the jumper clamp. Okay, connect them to the battery, of course, black to black, red to red. Really short cables. Wow, really short cables.
and then start the car. Turn on the car engine to start and then pull the plug of the battery terminal once it starts from the starter and remove the clamps for the battery. And as you could hear, it didn't want to start for a minute there. Now that I got it started, I can disconnect it. Awesome. Awesome sauce. I like that. That worked very well. Okay, so I'm going to let the car run for a little while. Maybe drive it around the park. Very cool. Very cool. I am no longer jumping batteries from my battery. From my vehicle batteries because it damages your car battery. And yes, I did damage the car battery, so I had to buy a new one. And check it out. Just doing that jump start, dropped it to 84%. So that's still pretty good. And it does shut itself off, which is also a good feature. You can also charge your cell phone on that. And you can use it you know, as a charging thing too, but I'm just gonna save it strictly for jump starting. And maybe charge the phone once in a while. I do believe in being as self-sufficient as I can possibly be. On this end, get the lighting right here, has two different type of uh, USB ports, Class C, and the mini port there. And then it has the typical USB ports. On this end, there is a light. And you can do different settings with it. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool little gizmo. I took a picture of it. Um, let me go look up the price and see how much I paid for this. It is $84.99 with a $10 coupon if you're a Prime member. And I think maybe I got it on sale. I can't say for sure. But it's well worth the cost. And it got really good reviews. I try to re read the reviews on everything and this one really did get good reviews. Has a nice durable rubber shock mat built around it. And here we go on the back of specs. There we go. Okay, so that's that for that. Thanks for watching and live the life you love. Catch y'all later. Bye.